Yeah, I agree. I'm OK, I've got some juice there, actually. Mmm. Oh, I'm going to have this. You've got to deliver 40 babies before you even qualify as a midwife. When I got my 40 deliveries, I celebrated with the McDonald's. <laughs> I got them on a night shift and I was back in on a night shift the next day. So I got a breakfast on the way home. <laughs> she's five centimetres, Leah. Five? Oh, girl, yeah. Oh, wow, so she's done well? Yeah, she's done fab. I've delivered 99 babies at the moment. I've got a log book of all the deliveries and it's just literally the number and the date, like a personal log. Have you VRM'd her? I haven't her. You haven't? She's an induction, isn't she, at the end of the day? She's not a spontaneous labourer, so we can't treat her like a spontaneous labourer. Oh, OK. Go on AR, Emma. I have absolutely no idea how many babies I've attended or delivered. I did it first. I think I got to about 200, and then I could not tell you. I've no idea. I'm very active with yeah. my management on, on inductions. On inductions. It's just if they came in and they were actively doing it and then they slowed down or whatever. Yeah. As a midwife, bringing life into the world is, like, one of the number one things you do. I'm proud of that, so I wanted to be able to, like, have that track so that at the end of your career you can go, wow, look at this book. When I got my mini, when I became a midwife, I called up to get it insured, and he went, oh, it'll go up to 150 quid a month. And I went, why? And he went, because, you know, you're young, you're 21 years old, driving a mini. And I said, well, I have no friends who drive in Audis and, like, BMWs. How can you be saying that? People usually assume that I'm older than I am. Before my 19th birthday, I'd, I delivered 10 babies. It's very different to what other 18-year-olds are doing at that age. They went, you might be able to knock it down to 110. And I thought, no way, cancel my, my thingy with you. And got it for £50 elsewhere. The experiences I've had as a child made me the person I am. And because my dad's in the army, I think I've moved house 16 times. <laughs> Mine's gone up. Have you got a history? No, I haven't got any history at all. You a bit of a boy racer? No, I'm a heck. <laughs> it's like, I'm always new schools, new friends, and I suppose that's kind of helped with the job because I'm always thrown into new situations. My daughter won't allow me to drive on the motorway because I don't do speed. Leather gloves. I don't like speed. And if I, see, if I can see the speed thermometer, I go ballistic. I did get up to 65 the other week, though, on the motorway. In midwifery, you've got a lot to learn in your whole career. Women and their families you look after definitely teach you so much. You can kind of be worrying about something really simple in your life and you'll be looking after someone that have been through so much and it does make you thankful for the simplest of things. Some days can be really intense and be very full on in regards to responsibility and being very serious. Don't worry, I had to do this for the girls the other day. I've got, like, super strength. But I think as soon as you come out of that delivery room, that's when you go, oh, and you make silly jokes and you become quite, quite crazy. Oh, my God, it's like they vaulted it down since last time. You wouldn't last long in the job if you kept serious all the time. Do you ever remember this poor woman that come in in an obviously advanced labour? Security guards brought her up in this wheelchair. She's going, it's coming. I've been in his wife for 20 years. You do come in contact with all walks of life, you know, staff as well as patients. So I've seen it all. The guy is shipping like, her out off. of the wheelchair. I'm going to just give her a minute. <laughs> and she'd be like, no, it's coming. And you can see it slither down the um, leg. pants, le leg of her pants. <laughs> this poor woman. <laughs> When I think what I was like as a younger midwife, I used to think the shift leaders, I just had them in awe, cos I was like, how on earth do they know all this stuff? Good morning. Good morning. Oh. As a young midwife, you definitely learn a lot from the senior midwives because they have got buckets and buckets of experience. She's a average two para one. She's 36 weeks and I think two days as well. Especially because I know that she's here. Hopefully all will be fine. There are just like wonder woman. You want to be like them, you want to be good at your job. Right, so that is done. I'm going through a process of growing up in the job. Yeah, this one? Yeah. And midwife will be with you shortly. Oh, okay. thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Oh. And with parents, they're growing up in the room as well. And they're learning to become parents together. 